Hello, veteran 0121 here. Welcome back. This is another episode of Final Fantasy IX. Using the alternate fantasy overhaul, play this game. Basically, it's a gameplay balance. I'm going to mention that at the beginning of every episode. So, if anybody happens to start watching episode 39 and that was like the first video they ever found in mine they actually know what this is all about because I'm not going to put it in the title because that would just make the, vi the title too fucking long if I abbreviated it it wouldn't make any sense anyways so there you go anyways let's take a look around here and we can find a phoenix down that we well I wouldn't say that I desperately need but definitely gonna help um, oh yeah I did equip that mage master that I stole finally in between episodes and I got a wrist equipped could equip a silk shirt yeah this one reduces thunder damage by 50% but it also makes you weak against fire that is a change that is not um, that is not the way it is in Vanilla Final Fantasy 9. So this is the evil forest. We're going to take a look around. Hey, Froggy. And yes, we can get a pick. Alright, new enemy, a goblin. If we had a certain character in our party, we'd be able to learn goblin punch. Oh, and by the way, yeah, the detect ability, basically you can look at the enemy's item list, all the enemies that you can steal from them, and then uh, flee is pretty self-explanatory, it's just guaranteed escape, guaranteed run. Said those potions were gonna come in handy, didn't I? I think I'm gonna go back. I need one more level. I want to at least get to level 3 here. Make it just a little bit easier. Hey, Rusty's here. Uh, 
Now this battle is going to be kind of a pain in the butt. Normally it isn't, but this one is a little bit. Yeah, basically this is the trance tutorial battle. Which is this game's version of Limit Breaks. Which, I'm sorry to say, is actually executed pretty poorly compared to uh, the previous two games. Sadly enough. Uh, yeah, you can physical damage to all enemies with fire and... Uh, yeah, that's the only difference. This is fire, this isn't. I'm not even going to bother with it. Doesn't have anything. Okay, I guess you can't steal. But basically, when Garnett's HP gets low. Yeah, you gotta use a potion. That way she doesn't die in the next one. Keep her alive. Oh, horse crap. Horse dung. die.
Uh oh. All right, now this is going to be a little bit different here than what you might remember. Vivi is silenced. Can't cast. Yeah, Vivi right now cannot cast spells for whatever reason. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a remedy on him. And Steiner's gonna use a potion on himself. Yeah, as soon as you put the remedy on Vivi, now he'll be able to cast spells. I don't think you had to do that in Vanilla FF9. How did I find this out? Trial and error. But I was confused for a very long time when I was testing this, uh, this shit. But yeah, once you throw Remedy at VV, it makes this fight a lot easier. Ability points. Decent amount of gill. And yeah, the uh, creature when it dies likes to throw its spores all over the place. seeds, spores, same thing. Yeah, man. It's like the opposite, man. It's like, uh, instead of the animals feeding on the plants, it's the plants feeding on the animals. It's pretty scary, huh? But the scary stuff. Get in there, Rusty. Take it anymore. God help me. <laughs> so he just he drinks it anyway. He's like, eh, screw it. 
Can't get any worse than this. Now, Rusty, he's not very, uh, he's not very trusting. Piss off the boss, we get some bronze gloves. That's some um, heavy armor for Rusty. Okay. Free to leave any time, huh? <laughs> details, details. Princess is fifteen, she's sixteen. The girl who was left behind. Oh yeah, I guess she was, wasn't she? <laughs> My little baby. <laughs> he sleeps with a Garnet doll. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Anyways, I didn't get anything new. No, nothing new. All right. Yeah, by the way, um, the, the fucking cotton robe trick does not work in this overhaul. So if you're thinking about exploiting that little trick, uh, yeah, you can't. <laughs> Just letting you know now. So if, yeah, if, I was about to say stock up on wrists, but I thought, wait a minute. No, that trick doesn't work anymore. Because, yeah, the wrist and the steepled hat um, allow you to make cotton robes, and you can sell cotton robes for a profit. For the amount of money that you sell or, or that you use to purchase um, steepled hats and wrists. But yeah, it's not the case anymore in this playthrough. I won't be using the cotton robe trick. But that's alright. I don't, I don't need it. I'll still be fine without it.
here because I think we can find something up here, can't we? Some money. Gonna need that money. Yeah, I think if we say forget, I don't think it matters which one you choose. So, yeah, I'm just going to choose the first option. Yeah, she's cute and she's in trouble. That's all that matters. for wanting to leave? I don't know about all that, man. He doesn't seem like a killer. this way and over here we can get a rubber helm if I remember correctly this will help against lightning attacks yes it will reduce thunder damage by 50% it's going that's going to be very useful for uh, the upcoming boss and rusty can equip it Bust me out for breaking the rules, huh? Okay. Should we got everything? Yeah, I'm actually gonna put Zidane in the back row here because, uh, well, at least for the first part of this next fight coming up, because uh, we're going to be able to steal some stuff, and I'd rather just not take as much damage. Actually, before I talk to him, let me go down this way. And a leather hat. Do I already have one? Yeah, I'm wearing one. Thought I saw thought I saw a bubble. Oh, 
I could, you know, just to be safe. I will save now. Better to be safe than sorry. Good to go. Let's do it. I like it when he falls. Yeah, you can steal an iron sword, that's for Rusty. It'll be his uh, strongest weapon that he can equip up to this point. That was quick. Aha. <laughs> that gut punch is just hilarious. Ha <laughs> 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 
<laughs> this is the first time he calls him Rusty. <laughs> That's great. Sedan's a man after my own heart, man. Finding nicknames for people. I mean, I've been been calling Spoonie or Edward from Final Fantasy IV Spoonie for like, you know, the last 25 years. I was calling him Spoonie when I was a kid. <laughs> Yeah, he is pretty powerful, man. And yeah, the funny thing about Rusty, he has this weird respect for Vivi. I don't know, it's just, <laughs> it's funny to me. I, I'm amused by it. Okay, so with the broadsword, I can learn Beast Killer. If I equip the Iron Sword, it's more powerful and I can learn Minus Strike. Basically, Minus Strike is an ability that um, damages the enemy based on the difference between your current HP and your max HP. So right now, if my HP was 20 and Steiner's max HP like it is, uh, is 120, I would actually deal 100 damage with it. So it's not bad. I'll probably want to learn that one first, to be honest. Actually, meh. I don't know, it's hard to say. I don't know, there's other stuff that's got beast killers, so whatever. Yeah, equip that, bug killer, I don't think I care. Oh wait, I can learn minus strike with a rubber helm. Eh, never mind then. I guess I'll just learn it faster if I got those two. And yeah, if you have equipment in this game with uh, the same ability on it, you'll basically learn it twice as fast. Which is definitely nice. Another ether. Oops, I went the wrong way. We gotta go get Vivi. make our way back to Limbloom. Pretty long walk from here, huh? <laughs> yeah, maybe we gave him brain damage. What's up, buddy? Coming with us, kid. Wait a minute, you 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 hold Zidane's power in great esteem as well? That's kind of like a backhanded compliment for Zidane, actually, in a way. Wow, man, you can't say no after after that. That magic sword. So basically any any element that VV can cast, uh, he can actually imbue Rusty Sword with, and it should be really good. Magic Sword is very good. Um, mm -hmm, so, oh, here we go, the Thunder Spell. Yeah. And again, this will be good for VV because 
He'll take less damage from Thunder. He probably needs it more than Zidane does because Zidane has more HP and higher levels. But yeah, you could have a second Silk Shirt at this point. I think if you did the, um, if you got at least 80 Nobles uh, for the Impress the Nobles mini game. And I recommend equipping that on Zidane, but I don't have a third one, or I don't have a second one, but whatever, that, that's fine. I, I won't need it. It'll be all right. Sweetie pie. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right, so we get Blank's medicine. Yeah, don't forget to set your abilities. Thanks for the reminder. Speaking of which, I should do that. Uh, that's all we have right now, huh? Bird killer. Basically, yeah, you do more damage to bird, t or, yeah, like bird enemies. And antibody is, uh, yeah, poison protection. Protect girls. I've never really understood this auto, auto ability. I guess you're supposed to just automatically take damage for females. Although when it when it comes down to it. I, I never really use this ability that much. Usually there's other abilities that are more important. Usually, in my experience. Okay, let's look at... Yeah, the Thunder Spell. Oh, okay, 5% slow, not silence, slow, okay. Yeah, I, I think I said silence in one of the previous videos, but it's slow. Can't expect me to remember everything. All right, any letters now? Hey, there's a letter from Ruby. Tell the boys in Tantalus I said hi. Okay. Yeah, there shouldn't be too many items through here to find. Pretty straightforward.
This theme should be very familiar if you played Final Fantasy VII. It's basically the Jonan theme. some kind of river, huh? Oh, look at that, a moogle. Now the great thing about the spring, you can fully restore your HP and MP and go around and fight if you need to. And here, here's Monty. We got a letter for you, buddy. Stilt skin. Cold place. Yeah, I think I'm gonna battle a little bit here, get some some levels for uh, Rusty and Vivi. Won't hurt to get a couple potions too. want to mess around with this guy. Yeah, this guy likes to put silence on you, which sucks. Big time. You jerk. Just had to hit Vivi, didn't you? Yeah, those guys are kind of dangerous. Oh, 
Well, it doesn't cure status, eh? That kind of blows. Yeah, Goblin Punch is pretty worthless unless you're using it on an enemy that has the same level as you. For the most part. Wow, man, I can't steal from these guys. What the frick is up with that? Come on, man, steal. Alright, screw it then, don't steal. Alright, this is probably a good spot to end the video. That's all for this episode of Final Fantasy IX Alternate Fantasy. And in the next episode, uh, we're going to try and save the princess. See you next time. Bye-bye.